Mass Effect is one of those game series that have proven how exploration and mystery can heighten your experience of a video game. Who can forget the vast open maps that Mass Effect 1 introduced, but then again, who would ever forget the Mako? For good or for bad, Mass Effect 2 went for a more linear route of exploration where they removed the Mako since it wasn't really all that fun to drive. We were instead introduced to scanning for materials and easter eggs with probes. Maps were still large enough for you to find optional areas, but it felt more compact. There was a DLC introduced later on where you could drive the Hammerhead, which was a hovercraft. Mass Effect 3 continued what the second game started, but now with an even more linear feel. And then we have Mass Effect Andromeda, which actually combined a bit of both worlds. First, a version of the Mako was reintroduced, which was now called the Nomad, but then we could still scan for things from the galaxy map. Hey! Smack! Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. That like button, so that the YouTube algorithm pushes this video up a bit. It helps the channel out. Thank you for doing this. Moving on. So what about the next one? Or Mass Effect 4, as we all universally like to call it. Will there be a more linear storytelling, or more exploration? First things first, let's go on what we have so far. It's pretty evident that we'll have some form of vehicle to drive. When Mass Effect 4 was announced, we were also introduced to concept art which showed several individuals standing next to a vehicle that Bioware calls the Mudskipper. Mudskipper, you say? What kind of vehicle could this be? Well, it probably has the name because of how it hops or avoids obstacles on the ground. Sort of like skipping mud. Duh. So instead of the Mako or the Nomad, which were vehicles with wheels, is it possible that this vehicle will be some sort of hovercraft, like the Hammerhead that was released with Mass Effect 2? We know that people generally liked driving it, as it handled better than the Mako, so Bioware might have cashed in on that idea. But then again, we don't know if this vehicle is actually a terrain vehicle or a literal ship that you can fly around in. A lot of fans have for a long time asked for the possibility of commanding the main ship, like the Normandy or the Tempest. Mass Effect 3 sort of had a minigame on the galaxy map where you could fly the Normandy, but it wasn't really what people had hoped for. Could this be the ship that Bioware is introducing in order for you to explore to your heart's content? It very well could be. With the advent of games like No Man's Sky and Star Citizen, Bioware might have realized that this could be the perfect moment to join in on the space exploration momentum. All these ideas sound all fine and dandy, but we still haven't discussed the main point. Should Mass Effect 4 be open world or should it be more linear? There will always be two kinds of fans, people who loved exploration with vehicles and people who hate the exploration aspect. An example is of course the Mako, which handled like a turd on a banana peel. They improved the Mako driving experience up to Mass Effect Andromeda, where the Nomad actually handled pretty well and was pretty fun to drive with. Then what was the issue? Well, the maps were huge for Andromeda, which isn't really a problem because it was optional to explore them. However, you still had to drive great distances to reach main objectives, and while driving set distances, there weren't always anything interesting to see or do along the way. There was a lot of empty space between objectives, which made some of these drives pretty boring. A good example of having great distractions while going from point A to point B would be to look at Red Dead Redemption 2. While you were riding your horse from one place to another, most of the time you would see or encounter something interesting. It could be side missions, a stranger that needed help, or just a simple animal like a deer, where hunting that particular deer could net you some cash at a vendor that was located at the exact place you were riding towards. These are some of the things that the exploration in Mass Effect Andromeda was missing. Sure, the planets felt huge and alien, but at the same time, the feeling of excitement were off after a short while, since not a lot of interesting things kept you hooked to the exploration aspect. So what could Bioware be doing then? Well, it wouldn't surprise me if Bioware took a few notes out of Red Dead Redemption's pages and made exploration more enjoyable, where distractions could be just as interesting as the main plot. Say you could be driving or flying in your exploration vehicle and suddenly you get a comms call from a group of NPCs calling for assistance, or maybe a stranded explorer looking for a way off world, and you pick them up and take them to a target location or a planet. There could be so many interesting mechanics that Bioware could use, which could make the experience completely organic for the player. What do you guys think? I've read some of the comments, and some of you want the next Mass Effect to be more linear to focus on the main gameplay mechanics and on the storyline or the plot. Some of you want to be able to pilot our next ship. Keep those comments coming. I really do enjoy reading everything you guys write and whatever ideas you can come up with. Hell, even a Bioware employee might stumble upon this video and might get some ideas from your comments. 
Anyway, this has been today's video and thank you for checking it out. Have a nice day.